Good morning! Are you ready for an adventure? I am going to give you a tour of my favorite place in St. Louis. So there's a place called Faust Park. In Faust Park, there's this historic site called Thornhill Estates. I, I cannot explain how dear this place is to me. And this is just as much for you as it is me. So I can look back on this and just, oh, see it again. me of um, Gone with the Wind. Kind of reminds me of that style of house. Um, it was built in 1817 or from 1817 to 1819 and the man who owned it was Frederick Bates. He then became the second governor that Missouri has ever had and fun fact Thomas Jefferson was going to elect Meriwether Lewis but um, Frederick Bates beat him out. So I'm going to show you a little bit more of the grounds. Um, Another thing I love about this place is just the variety of trees. Like this one is just fire orange and it looks so good with the house. And um, there's another tall one and then the sycamore and then there's just vast field out that way. And actually there's a trail that runs all down here and then back through the backwoods. Tell you what, I'm actually going to take you around to the other side. Oh, oh, my bad. So here's the back of the house. And then a cute little just walkway into another part of the house. Look at that incredible tree. There's another, I think that's for like blacksmithing. Okay, this is the smokehouse. And this is the ice house. And then if you walk back through here. Here's the graveyard, which I don't know about you, but I just kind of find that totally fascinating. Also, this fence line kind of reminds me of Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn, just cause I don't know, it's what I imagined Tom had to paint in like the first chapter. Okay, so it's nice and beautifully shaded by some trees. This is John Merriweather. I think this was one of his sons. This is Lucius Bates, son of Frederick Bates. Uh, born and died. They had a lot of children die in infancy. This is pretty clear. Very cool. I don't know if you can see it or understand it real well, but this is like a plateau. And then there's this huge dip, like this huge valley right here. And then the uh, hill comes up to like that one tree, it peaks. And you can't really see the tree, but it's a beautiful tree when it has leaves on it. So, okay, how to get out of this graveyard? We'll go back this way. And then, I love this. There's a teepee fort and the process of being made. I love this. I used to do stuff like this all the time back at home, except this is quite a bit more glorious than ours because we limited ourselves to only woodland material. 
And well, as you can see, this in fact cannot be found in the woods. I am a nature person, love nature. Okay, I'm gonna show you another one of my favorite views. It is over this way. I do wanna say one of the best things about this place is no one knows it exists. Uh, it is kind of tucked away behind the butterfly house uh, in Faust Park, but really, honestly, no one is ever here. So I have like a bunch of acres always to myself. It also kind of has the vibe of like little women. Um, and also Anne of Green Gables. So anyway, thanks for joining me. I hope you liked it. Hope you loved it because I love this place. It's just so gorgeous. I couldn't not share it, you know? Thanks for exploring with me.